We're starting our adventure on the green pastures of Highway 22, also known as the Old Cowboy Trail here in Alberta, Canada. And today we're traveling far and wide for part three of our tribute to some remarkable people who have called this beautiful province home. Born in Edmonton, Gene Kaniski played football for the Edmonton Eskimos and is best remembered as a professional wrestler. He called himself Canada's greatest athlete and was a multiple-time heavyweight champion. But before that, gentle Gene attended Edmonton's St. Joseph School here, where he may have been voted most likely to have the nickname Big Thunder. Born in Smoky Lake, Eddie Carroll was a TV and movie actor best remembered as the voice of the Disney character, Jiminy Cricket, a role he played from 1973 to 1998. Born Edward Aleniak, excellent Eddie was childhood friends with Robert Goulet, and he also attended Edmonton St. Joseph School here, where he may have been voted, most likely, to wish upon a star. Born in Wetaskiwin, Jackson Davies is a very talented TV and movie actor, best known as the lovable Constable Constable on my favorite TV show, The Beachcombers, from 1975 to 2002. A published author, Jackson is now a respected teacher at North Vancouver's Capilano University, but before that, juvenile Jackson attended Wetaskiwin's Composite High School here, where he may have been voted most likely to star in the movie Dead Ahead, the Exxon Valdez disaster with yours truly, JCVC. Melody Anderson is a retired TV and film actor best known as Dale Arden and Flash Gordon, and the title role in Police Woman Centerfold. She was also in a popular Chuck Norris movie, now a social worker and public speaker, Marvelous Melody was born here in Edmonton, where the nurses probably knew she would grow up one day to get a journalism degree from Carleton University. Born in Calgary, Todd McFarlane is a comic book creator, artist, writer, filmmaker, and entrepreneur. He's best known for his work as the artist on The Amazing Spider-Man and for creating the superhero horror fantasy series, Spawn. But before that, teenage Todd attended Calgary's William Aberhart High School here, where he may have been voted most likely to have a net worth over 300 million. Just a little bit more than yours truly, JCVC. Born in Edmonton, Bruce McCullough is a multi-talented actor, comedian, writer, musician, and director. He's best known as one-fifth of the comedy troupe Kids in the Hall from 1989 to 1995 and their follow-up movie Brain Candy. But before that, babyface Bruce attended Calgary's E.P. Scarlet School here, where he may have been voted most likely to one day play Kathy the Secretary. Jill Hennessy is an actor best known for playing prosecutor Claire Kincaid on Law and & Order and Jordan Cavanaugh on Crossing Jordan. A talented singer, Jovial Jordan was born here in Edmonton, where the nurses must have known that before hitting it big, she would pay her dues busking in the Toronto subway. Margaret Langrick is a retired actor best known for her Genie Award-winning portrayal of Sandy Wilcox in the 1985 movie My American Cousin and the 1989 sequel American Boyfriends. Now a publishing CEO and public speaker, Marvelous Maggie hit it big while attending Red Deer's Eastview School here, where she says she was a goofball and always too loud in class. Born in Donalda, Trisha Helfer is an actor and supermodel. In 1992, she won Ford Models Supermodel of the World contest. Acting gigs include Two and a Half Men and Battlestar Galactica. Host of Canada's Next Top Model, terrific Trisha attended Stetler's William E. Hay High School here, 
where she may have been voted most likely to be discovered while waiting in line for a movie at the town's local theater. Born in Enoch, Ashley Collingbull became the first Canadian and Indigenous person to win the Mrs. Universe title in 2015. A passionate advocate for First Nations, Ashley has competed on The Amazing Race. But before that, academic Ashley attended Edmonton's Concordia University here, where she may have been voted most likely to wrap up our tribute to Alberta celebrities. Thank you for watching part three of our Alberta tribute. I hope you get a chance to see parts one and two. I've also made two Calgary and four Vancouver tributes and several famous grave tours too. Oh, it's nothing but goodness here on the JCVC channel, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you might tap that good subscribe button one time. We'll wrap it up back here in beautiful Stettler in the Jewel Theater where supermodel Tricia Helfer was discovered. Maybe if I hang around here, I'll be discovered too. Shout out today to Rhonda Davies Charchin. Special thanks to Bev Sugarman for makeup and Jewel Hail Mary for wardrobe. I'm Jean-Claude Vancouver and until next time, be good to the other. I heard the Jewel Theater has some great popcorn here. I knew a popcorn a ways back. Join the army. He was a colonel. <laughs>